My name is Julius Lamaon. I'm the CEO of Cast Media Group. I'm in charge of the overall business strategy of the station, both here and in Washington. Yeah, I drive the entire management. Uh, I look over content, the business aspect, and the growth aspect of the station. I'm also in charge of the the growth strategy of where we want to where we want to where we want to to head, where we want to be in the next four five years as we grow as a media house. Can I ask you a sensitive question? Because we touched on two thousand and seven, um, and I know that some there's been some criticism of Cass, which seemed harsh to me because you're representing a tribe, you know. So so it would seem that you are biased towards a certain tribe because they are your listeners. Am I right? I, I, I think that is an illusion. We have also waited for some, some level of scientific data to prove that. Because the very fact that you, sp- you speak a certain language does not mean you hate another one. It does not mean that... Uh, it's not a language that's inside. An insider is an insider. It doesn't matter the language you speak of. So I, I it's very... I think it's it's the worst illusion all over to just believe because you speak certain language you could you just because I don't understand that language it could be that language could be inciting against me I don't believe that because if that is belief even sign language can incite badly which is not a communication I actually don't think the fact that you you address a certain market it does not mean a certain niche or a certain community does not mean you build that. I do not believe that. All of us, I mean, even as a business, as a business entity, there is no single community that can live without another community. We are all part and parcel of this country. And we all believe that we do not have a spare country. We believe so much in cohesion. When this country is burning, when this country is in turmoil, we do not all exist. That is a, a very important point that we should know. When Kenya burns, when Kenya is not cohesive, when Kenya is not integrated, we do not move forward. We do not at all exist. So there is no point. I don't believe any media house would consider that. That is not possible. Immediately the, the election results were released. What people do not want to understand is what really happened to prior to the election. We had a very peaceful campaign period prior to the 2007. The election was peaceful all over the country. When there was some delay in the results, in the religion of the election results, there was a lot of anxiety in, in the country, wanting to know what was happening. And there was a lot of suspicion that there's an element of a uh, you know, crafty way of, 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 of how the results was being relayed. That is what kind of built passions, built emotions in people and all that. And given that we were all in a very competitive, tight race in the country, that is where we are. But immediately after that, then there was a slap in terms of live media and all that. And just like any other media, we were badly affected. Big number of our staff could not even report to work. We had to get them into hotels to be able to to find a way how they would be able to to, to even come to the station and go back. Those were the big challenges we had at that point in time. But after that, we would also to come out as a station by inviting a lot of religious people, even our political leaders, to say something to the community that please, 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 we need this country. This has to stop because we could not all of us watch. We had a lot of religious people from all communities coming over. We made us media owners. I sit in the Media Owners Association, which is the biggest media uh, association of all owners in this country. I'm the deputy secretary. And we came out and we had one message across being replayed in all radios, in all television, and in all print, trying to tell the country that. We have to remain Kenya. Yeah. That peace has to prevail. Even when the negotiation was going on, media did play a big role in building cohesion at that worst time. So media could not be an instrument to, to, to kind of further the differences that were there. We played our role to bring that cohesiveness that was there. And and it was very important and we are proud that we, we stood to the country. And even now as we walk towards the post election uh, the, the, the referendum that is coming uh, in August to fourth, we have made as media owners, yeah, trying to 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 not also be able, like the politician to look beyond the August to fourth, to to find a forum where we send one message of cohesiveness, so that people should realize that 
whichever way the, the, the referendum goes, we still have Kenya, we still have a country, and we must remain peaceful. Just like in every match, we must be able to accept the results and move on and build from where we, we, we left. For those who win, for those who lose, we remain a country. All of us must integrate together and, and find a way that we still have to work at and build our country, whichever way the referendum goes.